Yeah, we have just left um, Greenland now for uh, Newfoundland, and it's um, a little bit uh, rough, but not too too bad. We are heading in Leif Eriksson's footsteps, and uh, we are definitely try to find where he was settled in uh, Newfoundland. We are close hauled on starboard tack and we have uh, tacked down to 10 degrees down to Newfoundland. Yeah, we, we have a lot of icebergs around here now and, uh, and uh, growlers. We are actually more afraid for growlers than for uh, iceberg because the iceberg we can see very clear but it's a point to go out early in the morning here from uh, Greenland and uh, go out through the ice belt uh, when it's it's uh, daylight they're high they're much higher than the, the rig here beautiful sight and a lot of icebergs all up here also. So far as leaving Greenland, it was a rocket ship start. Um, the predictions before we left, we were told were 16 meters a second, and it was definitely more than that. Our anemometer was reading 20 and sometimes up to 25 meters a second, which is a storm. Uh, every moment is very, very dangerous in this weather. So we have to be very, very careful and, and take it very, very easy. Woody, can you can you cast off the traveler for the for the truss? The rack uh, rack up or downhaul. <laughs> Doing good, putting on a little gearing here for the second reef. Wind's picking up, so putting in the reef again. Two reefs in the bonnet were taken away on the sail. And uh, we were close hauled, so we had a lot of water over the deck, sometimes even over the stern. This, uh, some waves were just in that right direction to bring water right over. But uh, it was quite amazing to be sailing in, in 20 meters a second with two or three meter seas and, um, and icebergs all around. Just when we were putting on the survival suits, I was going into the forward tent and I got the wave coming with all the spray over my clothes. 
So I started out with everything wet and in those moments it's really hard to pick up like uh, positive energy because you know it's not gonna dry and in order to get your other things you need to go down into your bag again and those kind of small things that would be sort of okay on another ship is almost a catastrophe for you here. Yes, it's really cold and that's why I have these to tuck my hands in right after we have finished with uh, handling the ropes. It's cold, I, can, I, I lose my sensation in fingertips when we're working on handling the ropes. I prefer to work without gloves. I take them off when we're pulling ropes because um, you have uh, contact with the rope. You can feel it and feel what's going on when you, when you not have gloves on. And uh, that's when it's really fun to sail as well, when we have these winds that just uh, make the ship fly almost on top of the waves. So uh, I had a little adrenaline rush maybe, especially at the lookouts, looking for the icebergs and the water coming over and uh, yeah, and all the wind. No bloody way Vikings were in those, ship, in those, in those seas. <laughs> we were an open ship with quite a low freeboard. You're always exposed, not like other ships, where you just can go down below and forget about whatever you're doing or whatever they're doing. You just cut out. You can't do that here. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing what what size boats can actually handle seas like that. But but if I was a Viking, I would have turned right the fuck around and come back in. Just wait for another. Time. No, no, no. I'll wait for the wind and the sun. <laughs> 